Hello everyone, welcome to this session of OUP Online. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about the dictionary and why knowing the alphabet is really important if you want to use a dictionary. You can join in on our activities today simply by downloading the activity sheet, printing it out, then just follow along. Let's begin. What do you do when you're reading a storybook and you come across a word you don't understand? Like this one. It was raining outside, so mother decided to put on a Mac before she left. Hmm, what does the word Mac mean? We can find a dictionary. A dictionary can tell you what the word means, what part of speech it is, like if it is an action word or a name word or a describing word, and it can give you an example of how it is used. But how do I find this word in the dictionary? By using the alphabet. The dictionary is organized in alphabetical order, so it is easy for you to find the words. When you open the dictionary, on the side of the page, you can see the alphabet listed. You can follow the colored tabs to the page with the letter you are looking for. Let's see how good you are with the alphabet. Let's try and play this game together. If you put the letters back into alphabetical order, it will make a word. Let's try this one. W, O, B, L, E. If you're not sure which letter is first, you can always refer back to the alphabet chart, or you can sing your ABCs. So, let's see what the first letter is. W, O, B, L, E. Let's look at the alphabet. A, B, O. B is here. Must mean letter B is first. Let's continue searching. B, C, D, E. There's the letter E, so E must be next. F, G, H, I, J, K. Letter L is next. And we continue with the rest of the letters. M, N, O all the way to letter W. Oh, the word is below. What does below mean? You can look in the dictionary. You can even get a sample sentence from the dictionary. I've made one myself. It is five degrees below zero today. Wear a coat. Now you try. T Y R O F. The first letter we can find here is letter F. Can you put the rest together by yourself? You can pause here before I give you the answers. You ready? F O R T Y. 40. We need 40 cupcakes for the party. <gasps> wow, 40 cupcakes. There must be a lot of people and it must be a great party. Can you try to do this one on your own? You can pause and take your time. Then you can resume when you are ready. Ready? The answer is B O O T S. Boots. Put on your boots when it snows. Well, that was easy, right? Hmm, but what if I was looking for two or maybe three words that begin with the same letter? Which one would I be able to find first? Well, then we look at the second letter and see which one comes first in the alphabet. For example, let's try this one. Pineapple, pipe, pin. They all begin with the letter P. Hmm, we're going to have to look at the next letter in each word. For pineapple, it is P and I. For pipe, it's also P and I. And for pin, P and I. Well, I guess we have to move on to the third letter. For pineapple, it is P, I, N. For pipe, it is P, I, P. 
for pin, it is P-I-N. Oh, let's see. The letter P and the letter N. Which one comes first? Let's check the alphabet. Hmm, oh, the letter N comes before the letter P. So I know the word pipe is the last one that I would find. Well, let's continue with the next two. Well, since the third letter is the same, we look at the fourth. P-I-N-E. And this one is P-I-N. And there's no letter in the end, which means the word pin will come before the word pineapple. So our order is pin, pineapple, and pipe. Now you try. Again, I will pause a second before I give you the answers. Are you ready? The answers are sandwich, C, and select. Did you get the right answers? Good job. For more challenging activities, you can download our worksheet and try to complete the extra activities yourself. By the way, if you're curious and still remember our sentence from the beginning, you can go check out what a Mac is in your dictionary too. Thank you very much for joining us today. Happy learning and we'll see you next time.